And that brings me on to ask about it because it is the big old debate we spoke about on the rugby pod, it's doing the rounds in the newspaper. You know, is Johnny Sexton the greatest player to play for Ireland? And there's been some yeah. great players. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for me now, he is for sure. Doesn't I don't think anyone can. Obviously, loads of people debate it, but I think it's clear because he's led Ireland to a Grand Slam at whatever thirty-eight years of age. Brian O'Driscoll, Ron Nagar, Paul O'Connell, um, you know Jackie Kyle, you know back in the, Mike Gibson, they were all phenomenal players. And Paul, parents to Paul O'Connell, um, like Paul O'Connell was an unbelievable leader and 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 made everyone better and and dro drove things as they all did in their own way. To be fair, but I think Johnny, Johnny's had the capacity to basically win a game on his own. Like, for example, Northampton, Hind Cup final in Cardiff where whatever, we were 20 points down at half time. He's the one in the dressing room who, who basically says, we're going we're gonna to win this. I think he was talking about, he's a Liverpool fan, talking about Istanbul or something. But, um, and then he went out and just like had a, a Ryder Rovers type second half, you know? Um, and that's, that's been the thing. I was lucky enough to play with him, his influence in the dressing room, training, meetings, um, He's a really emotional guy, uh, and but very emotionally intelligent. He, he he he's a good orator. He knows what to say at the right time. Doesn't talk for the sake of talking. So when he speaks, it's powerful. Um, people want to follow him. It was interesting. So uh, uh, Andy Farrell, you know, the biggest one of the biggest things he's done with his Irish team is, and the parents, it, it's it's smart because probably because under Schmidt. Um, it became very intense, um, uh, and and Johnny actually liked that kind of feedback, direct feedback, whatever. But um, Farrell is basically a big thing about everyone just being themselves, right? So um, you know, personality's character has is allowed to come out, right? And they 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 have a lot of fun. They, they spend time understanding each other, and they have a lot of fun together. And it's relaxed at the right time, and it's serious at the right time. And um, but Farrell's big thing is oh, everyone to be themselves, except you, Johnny. You know what I mean? Because if you're yourself. Sometimes people aren't ready to see that raw emotion, passion, drive. Whereas, you know, you've been in lots of dressing rooms where we understand that sometimes you don't have time to say things nicely. You just need to fucking know what to do. And Johnny's capable of, of doing that because, you know, he, he doesn't mess around. But how he, you know, how he deals with referees, how he talks post-match, how he maybe talks pre-match, how he fights with opposition... I think Faz is trying to get him not to show that emotion in those situations. You know what I mean? To be more poker face, to protect himself. Because um, Johnny, it's only now I think everybody really appreciates kind of what he's done for Leinster and Irish rugby. Um, because for a while there, two or three years ago, even Irish fans were saying, why isn't he retired? He's blocking somebody else. And, you know, he's getting injured. It's not fair in his family. Eddie Jones had a few pops at him and things like that. So, But now it's changed. Now everyone has a far better idea of how good a bloke he is, how likable he is, um, and they're starting to see the real side of him. But I think it's brilliant leadership by Faz to be able to try and protect Johnny and, you know, make him a better leader, even though, like, who gets a better, who becomes a better leader at 35, 36, 37, 38? But I think Sexton is, and, that, and he was already a good one. So for me, um, it's not just what he's done on the field, the record point score, it's, it's the drive he's given every team he's played with off it has had the biggest influence and, and is for me he's the greatest Irish rugby player. Yeah, I agree. For the reasons you've just said there, like you've you've wrapped it up all into one. And the fact that someone like Andy Farrell and the standing that he has in the game, the pedigree as a player, as a father, yeah. uh, that he's produced Owen as well, that he has allowed Johnny Sexton to migrate his way through a sticky time where his body isn't or and definitely wasn't quite right, the the head concussions yeah. that he's been through. Uh, the pressure of the media whilst allowing him as captain not to pick and choose but to find his space within the, the number one team in the world and the fact that Andy Farrell has allowed that shows you the importance of him uh, it's it's unbelievable to watch I tell you what after the six this is the first six nations and maybe because maybe it is his last maybe six nations first time ever we've seen him let his hair down and he's yeah. shown that on his social media with his kids, uh, the interaction between his son and Mac Hansen as well, behind the scenes. I don't think we've ever seen that never. before. We've never seen that. And that's nice and that's important as well because yeah. we see that kind of human side. 
And this is the thing, it's easy to pass judgment. Oh, you know, look at his face. We've done it with Owen Farrell before, that kind of serious, you know, been stung by a wasp style look. Mm. And this is the difference of when you have to have that front and that persona, going back to the analogy of a Michael Jordan and these individuals in team sports, but the top of the top, the best of the best, which Johnny Sexton clearly is. You don't make people like that. So therefore, you're not going to be like everyone else, are you? Because no one is like you. Like you are up there as one of the goats. And that is the reason why, is because you are different. You're different to everyone else. He's different to everyone else, right. And I think we're, we're, we're seeing, he's like a deeply proud. I think what last week we've kind of got an insight into two legends, Farrell's family, like the the dynamics of him having the grandkids. They were, I don't know if you read this, but um, the grandkids came over to, to granddad's, right, before the Ireland-England uh, game. So uh, Owen's kids. And he brought them to the Irish captain's run, you know, in Irish jerseys and so that funny. dynamic. And then Faz after the match, are you okay to... to that, on that one there, you're right. That there, that human interaction yeah. between father and son. It's amazing. Like, where me. do you see that? You know, you might see it at a junior club or it's like, and but it's not the dynamic of your dad's coach in another country for a grand slam to beat the team you're, you're captain of. Like, it's it's so interesting and, and fascinating. And then Johnny's dynamic of, like, his family and, like, his, his rule with the kids are you can only be on the pitch if they win. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, imagine, like, Johnny Sexton's kids should be on the pitch whenever they want, right? But that's the rule he has as, as a dad and discipline and things like that. But I um, I think Farrell is big into the, into this whole thing about family. So, like, uh, they every nearly every, every player, whether they were star player or whether they're number 47 of the people who came into camp to train so they had 47 players in camp they all had their their families there when, when you couldn't get a ticket for gold dust right so Farrell would have spent a week trying to find ways of getting everybody who needed to be there in right whereas a lot of head coaches would just go look at them focused on England um, like I, I was in a press box and there was, there was players who trained with Ireland over the course of the, the Six Nations in a press box you know, because they couldn't get tickets, but fire had organised them to get there. So, um, and then I I know that with the whole so Johnny's Johnny's young fellow that was on TV with Mac, his name is Luca, and uh, Johnny got his hundred capture in COVID, and um, the, there's the crowd, there's, the stadium was empty. I can't remember who he's playing against. The stadium was empty, and it couldn't bring people in to kind of to um, commemorate that during week during the week. So what Farrell did was he he got uh, Johnny's wife Laura to make videos, right? So I get a load of video messages from his dad, his under 12s coach, anyone who was important to Johnny. And, and that on Thursday night, he always do it on Thursday night in Carton House, which is where they train. And they're in a bubble, a really strict bubble. So the first video was Luca. You know, Daddy, um, I'm so proud of you. You're making 100 cap. I wish you could be there, but it's COVID. There's going to be no one there. And But don't worry, we'll be watching on TV. And then it goes on to lots of other p people who are important to Johnny. And then the last clip was, was Luca again, and on the on the screen, he goes, "Daddy, I think I found a way in." And next thing, the doors open, oh, no. and he ran up, or whatever. And like apparently, there wasn't a dry out, dry out in the house, right? But that doesn't cost anything. Okay, you broke COVID rules, or whatever, right? But <laughs> but it doesn't cost anything. But Farrell was like, you know, this fella's making hundred cap, and it's not just hundred cap. He does it for first caps, fifty caps, and it's a it's a microcosm of what he seems to be like and why they love him so much. Is he's just looking for ways to show that he respects and cares and what you're doing is important not just to you but to your family uh, and to all of us you know and uh, it sounds so obvious and so simple but the effect he's had um, in terms of creating this group who would die for each other um, who know each other in a, in a better way or more deeper understanding of where they've all come from you, you hear them talking now not about it, my country my island you know I know how important playing for this island is and that goes back to that whole thing about the north and you know, what they did during with, with Brian Driscoll and Craig Doyle and Davey Irwin coming in to explain how hard it was for the, for some players from Ulster to go and wear the green jersey of Ireland. 